Now, while the FBI and authorities in Portland are looking into that situation, we are learning that two USPS mailboxes in Lane County are at risk tonight after the key to open them was stolen from the Marcola Post Office during a break-in last night. KVL's Brandon Cameraman is live in Marcola at the post office now. Brandon, is the Lane County Elections Office concerned that this could impact elections? Kendall, there's no reason to believe that this break in at the Marcola Post Office last night was in any way related to the elections or the targeting of ballots. That being said, eight days out from the election, they're certainly taking the cautionary tale necessary and being as transparent as they can about what took place. So as you mentioned, a, lot, a key was stolen from this post office, the Marcola Post Office, uh, either late last night or early this morning, and it has access to two post office boxes. This one right here, right in front of the post office, and another one at the end of Mar uh, Mohawk River Road in Marcola. That's more of a residential post office box. Again, we don't know if those boxes were accessed or if they were targeting anything election related. But when I spoke with Devin Ashbridge with the county this afternoon, she said transparency is key this close to an election. Normally, that wouldn't be something the elections office would be involved in. But because in the course of that break in overnight, someone took a key that could be used to open a couple of the mailboxes in that community, we wanted to make sure that voters who may have returned their ballot over the weekend are watching to ensure their ballot is received. And if not, that they come in, they request a replacement ballot so we can make sure their vote is counted. Do you know when this? So you can, of course, track your ballot and Marcola residents, especially those who access those boxes uh, to drop their ballot, are encouraged to do so. We have information on our website to find out how to do that. And if you have not yet returned your ballot, don't return it to one of these boxes. Just return it to one of the actual elections ballot boxes. 21 of them around the county. As for the investigation into the break-in, Lane County Sheriff's Office taking the lead on that. And if they have more information, it could elevate to a federal crime if, in fact, any mail was determined to be stolen. Uh, for now, live in Marcola, Brandon Cameraman, let's go back to you. All right, thank you so much, Brandon. Now